welcome to Facebook Live. We are here today from Breast Cancer Now and I'm joined by Jacqueline Gold, CEO of Ann Summers. I'm absolutely delighted that you're here with me today. I'm Rachel, I'm one of the nurse specialists on Breast Cancer Now. And um, we'd just like to remind you before we get going to put your comments in the comment box. We'll get round to answering any of those questions that you might have for us later tonight and tomorrow morning. So Jacqueline, how fantastic. We have got a partnership which we've been working on for the last year with Anne Summers. Um, looking at and talking to women with uh, diagnosis of breast cancer through focus groups and asking them about sex and intimacy and how it affects their lives. Um, I don't know if you've got something that you wanted to just share with us at the moment before we get going about the partnership, something that you've found really useful. Well, Rachel, I, I'm really passionate about this partnership. I think it's fantastic. Um, as you know, I've been on my own um, breast cancer journey, yeah. um, it returned last year. And one of the things, I had to have a mastectomy this time round, one of the things I realised was that, um, you know, the treatment affects us. It, you know, nobody talks to you about how the treatment affects you, but it does. And it can impact your confidence. You feel embarrassed to talk about it, or maybe you feel it's trivial. But actually, our sexual well-being is so, so important. Um, and I love the fact that breast cancer now do these focus groups to help women and open up that conversation. And I love the fact that we're also doing this, this partnered range where we can, um, you know, go from therapy through to pleasure mm. in a gentle, soft, safe way. Um, I think will be a tremendous help to many women. I've, I've heard anecdotes already mm. of women going into our stores and mm. saying there's something for us, this is you know, going to be such a big help for us. And obviously you can go into Boots as well. So um, from a personal point of view, I'm thinking why has this never done, been done before? You know, men's health is often, sexual health is always looked at, looked at whether it be prostate cancer or testicular cancer so this is now something some you know we are doing something for women and hopefully we can build a community uh, on our website where women can feel comfortable in sharing their experiences mm. and getting ideas from other women because we know that um, sex and intimacy can really be affected we've recently done a YouGov survey in um, combination with you uh, and Summers and we know that about 75% of women didn't even know or had a conversation about how their um, sexual well-being would be affected and so we know that it's not being addressed by healthcare professionals and we as a part are really keen for that to change and with this MyViv range which um, Anne Summers has developed in conjunction with um, women who have been affected by breast cancer we really hope that things will change for those women out there. Yes. And, and just to point out this range, you know this is a very well thought out range, it's been put together on the back of the focus groups that we've done with many of your your ladies and contributors, Darlene has been amazing. Yeah. You know, have, having their feedback of what they need and, um, mm. and what they want. Um, and I actually think the pelvic mm. and the um, dilator sets have been the most viewed online. Mm. So the feedback we're having mm. already is amazing. Um, but I do, I do think, you know, that whole confidence piece is so important. Mm. I know from my own personal experience, you know, I've actually... Uh, had, my husband and I had a bit of counselling I thought that was really helpful and I think you do need to, you know, it's obviously different for everybody but certainly we felt we needed to talk to somebody um, and just it's about having those conversations and feeling comfortable that we can talk about our fears, you know, I was worried would my husband mm. still fancy me after the mastectomy, you know, and uh, you don't let your imagination run away with you, it's important to have conversations. Yeah. And knowing who to have those conversations with I mean, certainly at Breast Cancer Now, we answer lots of calls to women who and partners um, who are struggling with sex and intimacy. And when you're talking about the range there about dilators and pelvic floor um, exercises and uh, lubricants and moisturisers, it's really knowing what's out there and knowing that sex and intimacy is not just about sex and having active sex. It's about the knowing what your body feels like now for yourself and knowing how your body responds with the changes with hormone therapies, vaginal dryness and uh, loss of breast, loss of sensation, all of those things can be and are affected. Yeah. And they're all so important mm. and your doctor doesn't talk to you about no. them, which uh, 
I think wise what you do is is absolutely amazing. I think you said, did you say this particular workshop is one of your most popular? Yes, and um, certainly um, when we are uh, running our moving forward courses and our younger women's courses, both of those um, bring in sex and intimacy. Many women they view it as something that's that's trivial that they can't talk to their healthcare professional about. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, you can. And you should, because it is part of well-being. And what this range, the My Viv range, is about is about well-being. Um, and I've heard you say that many, many yes. times. Well, sexual well-being is our right. Yeah. You know, and yeah. we should sort of think, oh, this is too embarrassing or mm. uh, it's too trivial, because mm. it really isn't. Our sexual well-being is a major part of our life. Absolutely. And I wondered if you could share with the audience some of your, maybe your talk about how you man you cope with day-to-day -day life in terms of the breast cancer coming back um, you've got a young daughter you've got a, a lovely husband and you've also got a really really uh, high-powered job how do you juggle all those well things? I, I mean everybody is different mm. so I'll just share what I've done I mean for me getting myself back to normal as soon as possible was very important I didn't want this to define me mm. Um, having a really good network around me, you know, my sister and my husband mm -hmm. have been incredibly supportive. Um, I also take things to look after myself, so I meditate every day, yeah. I do yoga, which yeah. I think is really good, mm -hmm. um, and I think it's so important to take the time to do those mm -hmm. things that can make you feel mm -hmm. good about yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't get in the and think, you know, something bad is going to happen. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Yes, I understand, and I went through that period of looking over my shoulder, and then I realised, <coughs> actually, it's more important that I live my best life, mm. and that I have this like ninja-like attitude forward, and just submerse myself in doing all of the things I feel really passionate about, mm. um, and that has really helped me. Mm. And how? And have you got any uh, top tips for talking to children who are younger about what's happened for you? Well, when I had cancer the first time round, mm. my daughter was eight years old, mm. and it was difficult, but I ordered some books, some mm. age-appropriate books off of Amazon, and we sat down and we read the books together like a story. Mm. Um, I actually chose to avoid the, the cancer word, mm. because I, people have different interpretations of that, and I, I was worried that other people, if she shared it with them, mm. might sort of position it in a way I um, so I talked about the lump in mummy's breast. Mm. Um, then of course when it came back, I just think it's very, I, I think it's important to be honest with your mm. child. If they ask a direct question, I think you have to give them a direct answer. Mm. Um, obviously in an age appropriate way. Mm. But when it came back, I said to Scarlett that mummy would be having to have a mastectomy and I explained to her what a mastectomy was. So I prepared her and there were no sort of shocks along the way. Um, get changed at home, I carry on to get changed in the normal way rather yeah. than covering up my, mm. my situation as much as mm. possible. Yeah, and you're absolutely right, is, is the key, it's hard to with children because it's, they ask really direct questions and hard questions. They do, but I think if you're not honest and if you beat around the bush, mm. they're actually more mm. insecure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's absolutely my experience of it, and if they know they're always going honest answer they will trust you yeah. and that has got to be the key um, for this so um, going forward if you have questions that you want to uh, comment and ask us at breast cancer now we're really really happy to answer those we will put links to the uh, Facebook live I did some time ago with Darlene that you can watch that she has a really frank discussion with us and she's worked very closely with us on the range. She, she has, she's been amazing. amazing. Um, about sex and intimacy. And if you want to ask us any questions in person, you can call us on 0808 6000. Um, leave us a message tonight, or we can take your call tomorrow. We're open from 9 until 4. And the MyViv range is now available online and coming. Uh, well, it's on. It's going to be online in Boots mid November, and then it will be in Boots stores in January. Yeah. Obviously, it's available in Anne Summers now, and we have experts to talk you through the range yeah. and. Uh,
to yeah. be able to support yeah. each individual. And, and really, just before we finish, that's what's so incredible. All of your ambassadors and all your retail stores, they are going to be spreading this message. This yeah. range. I mean, I was told this morning, we had two ladies come into our store yesterday mm. who wouldn't otherwise have normally come in. I think they saw the Maura Higgins campaign. Yeah. Came into the store. Both of them were going through treatment. Mm. You know, emotionally overwhelmed yeah. by the fact that there was something yeah. for them. Yeah. Um, and I think, uh, you know, they shopping bags and it made yeah. a big difference yeah. to their lives. Yeah. Because, I, and also just to mention that the range is right from the luxurious things of bath salts to gorgeous candles, all the way through to vibrators and clitoral stimulators yes. and the whole There's absolutely lot. everything yeah and it's stunning it's so it's beautifully packaged mm. it's very gentle soft lovely coloring mm. um, and as i say it's all been based around the feedback from yeah. the focus groups yeah yeah jacqueline thank you so much thank you for joining us today thank you rachel <laughs>